Hey everybody, what's up? It's Stardust or Two. And in this video, I wanna talk about these elderberries. You know, I'm still kinda of new to this, even though I've been doing it three years now, I'm still a newbie. Cause some of y'all was raised doing this stuff. You had elders around you, okay, whatever. Or you just have better research skills than me. Anyway, whatever it is, y'all making me step my game up. So, oh, going on over there. I wanna show y'all these elderberries. Nosy, come on here. <laughs> come on, oh, guess who back, y'all? Guess who's back? All right, we'll, we'll include her later because poor baby, I know I just caught her all off guard. Anyway, <laughs> I want you to zoom in, please, on these elderberries, okay? These are called suckers. I did not know that elderberries naturally um, produced runners okay let me see what they're similar to you know how comfrey grows on the root and spreads like that uh, apparently elderberries too so strawberry. they these are elderberries That's a strawberry also got that, right? no no um so elderberries what i've been finding out produces fruit in two to three years okay once they start to uh get bigger and flower it takes about two to three years for you to get your first set of fruit and um, they require about an inch of water every week once they um, put out the flowers until the time you harvest and the leaves fall. I was, I was shocked. I didn't know that. Um, especially like where I am. I'm down here in North Florida Gardening Zone 8B. And um, we have kind of like a sandy, loomy soil. But we also do have well-draining soil here. I can say that. No, I have not had my soil tested. I know I should, but I have not. Um, I still will, but I'm not worried about that right now. So anyway, I didn't know that about these either. These are cold hardy, y'all. These can survive temps up to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you are in a cold zone, don't worry about your elderberries. They gonna survive. If you want something to eat, you'll be able to have those. But just understand this too, elderberries are toxic. If you eat them right away, they can cause nausea. So it's better to uh, prepare them, okay, before you just ingest those. I'm gonna show you over here too, because this one as well has some suckers coming out. Here's a sucker. Here's a couple of suckers uh, over here. And those are spreading all the way from this mother plant over here. Like, can you pan it? Yeah, that is, that's, <laughs> I'm so excited to learn all of this. All right, anyway. So there are basically four ways also to propagate elderberries, right? You can start them by seed. You can do cuttings. You can do nothing, which is apparently what I'm doing. Or you can also uh, plant cuttings. So it is recommended that you let these grow a little bit taller um, and then dig them up. Make sure you disconnect them from the root and use that to start your new cuttings from. So it's best to transplant the suckers in the spring after the ground thaws or in the fall after it's lost its leaves. So this is a lot of new information that I decided I wanted to share because I was so excited every time I was seeing the new suckers come on. As of last year, this one over here um, put out five suckers, right? Dang, I can't even see. Wow. I'm in awe. I'm, I really am because you guys understand how much we value this plant, how healthy it is. I mean, like for real. Elderberry syrup, elderberry jam, all kind of stuff. But anyway, last year, I got the five babies, but I have three still that made it, okay? And this is one here, which has already turned into two, okay? <laughs> That's beautiful. Also, I have another one here. All of these came off of that mother plant last year, and I planted these out here. Now, um, I'm trying to find the third one. Okay, come with me, please, cameraman. Mm. 
Well, y'all, I thought I had a third one off of that mother plant. Maybe I lost it. Oh, well, it's not that in, um, big of a deal because I'm still blessed. I have another one. This one, uh, Lisa Williams. Lisa Williams got for me. And I think we paid maybe like $10 for this. Yeah, I think it was like $10 for this. So, you know, this is exciting to see this one grow up too. So if you have your elderberries, just know that you'll be fine and your plant will survive all the way down to 30 degrees negative Fahrenheit, okay? 30 degrees below zero. So peace, love, and light, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you like my um, content, excuse me, I messed up. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and share. Love you guys.